Okay, so let's finish up our last two. Our ALS, which I've been calling Lou Gehrig's, it's actually amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So let's just go into our last two here. Oops, last two. So you have your peripheral nervous system, all those motor functions other than your central nervous system, that brain and spinal cord. So you have a condition called myosthenius gravis. And um, this really actually um, is a Walt Disney character from the, uh, from the movie Snow White. Or Sleeping Beauty, sorry, Sleeping Beauty. I think it was, no, crap, I think it was Snow White. Because remember Sleepy, that uh, dwarf? Snow White and the Seven, there it is, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Because Sleepy, the guy who's like really sleepy and tired all the time, Walt Disney actually created that character after one of his good friends who actually had Myosthenius Gravis. Uh, Myosthenius Gravis is a um, disease that actually inhibits you from producing um, a chemical called acetylcholine. Now acetylcholine um, reacts in the body to help your body and your neurons and one thing that acetyl, if you lack acetylcholine, your body will have severe, severe muscle weakness. So you'll always see droopy eyes, um, and you'll have severe just muscle weakness and very, very tired. Very tired. Um, your body is failing to secrete this acetylcholine that helps your muscles to contract. So between the synapses, of your body where all these little um, neurotransmitters are produced, acetylcholine is being prevented um, and fails to secrete. So your people give you um, anticholinergics basically which are contraindicated. I'm sorry, I'm going off into left field. I can't get into that right now. Anyways, myosthenius gravis just remember for the basic overview, uh, muscle weakness, you have very droopy eyes, almost like gravity, which gravity is what keeps us to the ground on earth, right? So if you think about myosthenius gravis, you can think about um, mucho gravity pulling down your eyelids and making you very, very sleepy, right? Myosthenius gravis, like you're very tired, and there's a lot of gravity being pushed on your eyes, causing you to be very sleepy. So, that's a good way for you guys to remember myosthenius gravis. And um, no acetylcholine uptake, or I'm sorry, um, fails to produce. Now, one of the biggest signs um, that you, have, you want to look for as a nurse with someone who has severe muscle weakness, you have to think, patients can't swallow um, perfectly with myosthenius gravis. So, you have aspiration precautions, which are very huge with MG. Um, you also have um, airway issues, as well as diaphragm issues, with patients who are um, with myosthenius gravis. So myosthenius gravis is, um, is not a progressive disease. It pretty much happens when your patients are triggered by something, um, which triggers this response from your body. So there'll be good days and there'll be bad days for your myosthenius gravis patients. All right, let me see here. Um, next, our ALS your amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. This is by far the worst, the worst neurological disease that you can get. And I say that because it is uncurable, there's no remission, and you're usually dead in about three to five years with this ALS. So, the bad part is with this disease is that your, um, your motor neurons, they become sclerotic 
and basically stiff. So all these motor neurons in your body that grip, push, pull, become very, very stiff and you're pretty much a prisoner in your own body. Your sensory neurons are still intact. You can still feel pain. You can still think for yourself. There's no dementia. There's no breakdown in terms of your brain. So imagine you're just in bed. You can't move. You can still think perfectly, but now all of your motor neurons, you can't move, guys. It's very, very sad. It's very, very um, depressing to take care of someone like this. But um, you guys want to look for your three D's of ALS. Your three D's being um, dysarthia, <laughs> basically um, difficulty uh, moving, dysphagia, difficulty swallowing, and also drooling. Let me write that down. Your three D's here. So your dysarthria, dysarthria, your drooling, and your dysphagia, difficulty swallowing. And your ALS happens with your um, motor neurons. Your motor neurons become very sclerotic, very hard, very stiff, right here. So your brain is still intact, your sensory neurons are still intact, and it's very sad because you're dead usually in three to five years, uh, mainly because you, be, you get um, usually a respiratory type of infection because all your motor neurons start failing and even the motor neurons that help your lungs breathe start to fail. So your patients will go on a vent, um, will start having mechanical breathing for your patient, and usually you don't die from ALS itself, you die from other organs failing to do their job. It's kind of very, very, very sad. But what are some goals for nurses with neuro patients? Let's do that into the next little video here.